Hey viewers, welcome back to Dallas Auto Diag. I already started uh, working on this vehicle. It's a 2018 Chevy Impala with a hard steering concern. Um, I put it on uh, uh, ramps. I went under it. I started doing checks and I found something interesting that I wanted to share it with you all. So stay with me. said in the intro I already scanned the vehicle started working on it and I figured it would be something you know a fuse or something that's why I didn't want to film from the beginning but I found something interesting and I don't know it happens in all vehicles or is it because of the collision that this car took um, so scanning the vehicle it had a check engine light on and they're not concerned about check engine light although I already know what's what's the issue and I can fix it but they said no they just want to fix the power steering okay that's fine so you will find here that we have lost communication with power steering control module in the body control module so when you go down the power steering control module no response if you don't have a 909 919 or a ultra uh, then you will not have this section you will have only the uh, the uh, the ones that are talking but if you don't see your power steering control module here that means it's not talking anyways we have a clear uh, code for it in the body control module so no response for this okay so i come and i look at the schematics for it let's leave the key on right now I think it's under the vehicle. Yeah, right here. Try to avoid the glare. Okay, here is better. So I pull up the wiring diagram for it. This is the power steering control module, which is the uh, the rack and pinion. It has two connectors. One connector for the main power. That comes from an 80 amp fuse, which is wrong here in the diagram. And uh, the other one says fuse number four, 80 amp. The other one, the ground right here, G111. And the other connector has the communication lines in it. And the third one is internal because it comes out from the rack and pinion, goes to the power steering shaft torque sensor. All right. So the first thing that I wanted to check, usually when when a car have an accident and those cables touch the uh, the the chassis that fuse blow the fuse is right here and it says fuse number four it's a hundred amp not an 80 amp I checked it it's good let me show you so I checked the fuse right here it's good it has 12 volts now uh, I decided to uh, put the rams and drive the car up I want to have access to the those two connectors I want to check the the rest of the, the stuff I want to check those two wires and the uh, can communication uh, the high-speed can uh, lines I want to see if we have communication here now we are going to go under the vehicle and it is going to be really tough to film over there so if you guys see any shaking if, if you guys see any shaking any any unclear images do not hate me it is really really tight over there and the place of those two connectors is really inconvenient like you can there is metal in, in a way uh, I'm going to do my best to to put some footage for you I'm under the vehicle this is the flex pipe so it is right here on the left side of the flex pipe right there this is the harness the power and ground for the motor and if I can see it right there is the other harness for the can uh, network which I cannot get to from this side because the rack on the way this subframe is on the way so I'm like, oh man, and those are the most important ones that I wanted to check. So since I'm here, let me check the uh, the power and ground. Uh, although it is a thick gauge wire, but 
it doesn't hurt to check that power especially the power I was concerned with the power because uh, I thought it would be a fuse blown but it's not so I come to check the ground because it is the one closer and you see I am on hopefully I can show it yes I can you see my lead on the black not the not red and I have 7.85 volts I'm like come on what's going on so I come to check my ground I do have a ground on a chassis uh, engine block I do have it this is the exhaust uh, I come to this subframe and I see that 6.6 .6 volts whatever I don't know if this is a real voltage or what's going on here so definitely this motor is not gonna work without this power and ground uh, now we need to find out where's that ground goes to that ground says G 111 so when I look for G 111 it's number two right here it's right on the uh, on the uh, strut tower right here G 111 right here this one it even says it and the bottom says power steering harness so when we come look for it I saw that this is the harness right here this one the thick one the big one comes up and I see something loose here that might be it I have to remove this bottle which was easy to do to have a better access and look what I find find something loose now I don't know I don't know if this is G111 but what I know it's definitely coming from the harness you see that wire right here right here coming so this is and I believe this is the no this is not it but anyways G111 we're gonna put it right here because it looks like it's the same diameter right here let's do this properly we got the car down all right right here see it with one finger so if your car was at the body shop and they did something in the vicinity of the area make sure that this ground is uh, is sealed good and i'm not sure but i think the body shop here the one that called me for this i think they said that it was working and then it stopped working so that ground probably was touching the uh, the body of the vehicle and then movement or whatever uh, it, it moved away so it lost uh, uh, ground to the motor that's why we had no comp so uh, hopefully this will uh, so uh, solve your problem. Thank you so much. Please like share subscribe and hit that little notification the bell